this is what it looks like once you flame. Uh, this is what it looks like once you uh, flame. Uh, this is what it looks like when you uh, frame blend. Uh, yeah. Hey everyone, in my last video, I was talking about how to make your stable diffusion animations a lot more consistent, a lot more smooth. And uh, I actually got a lot of comments about how I should really try out uh, flow frames. It's a way to interpolate the frames uh, using AI. So they say it's way better that I should try it out. So I wanna actually compare it to uh, frame blending and see how much better it is and compare it side by side and see if, it's, if it is really true that it's way better. Uh, so yeah, let's check it out. And again, excuse my voice because I have a really deep voice right now uh, because I am not feeling so well. But uh, I wanted to talk about this because I know that a lot of people are mentioning this and I wanted to address it. So let's get into it. All right. So uh, I have an animation here that I did already and I'm going to put it in here. I believe this was actually 24 frames. I just know this was about 200 out in and all right. So this is what this looks like just normally without any frame blending. And uh, this is what it looks like once you flame. Uh, this is what it looks like once you uh, flame. Uh, this is what it looks like when you uh, frame blend. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, so it doesn't look too bad, right? Uh, let's check out uh, flow frames to see what that looks like. Let me actually uh, duplicate this and let me make sure this is the original uh, length because this is how I believe uh, flow frame works. I have to get the original length and then it's just gonna double it and add frames to it. So let me see. Okay, now that's done. So let's put it into flow frames. It's right here. And uh, I'm just gonna drag it into it. And then it should be, yeah, 23. It's gonna double it and make it uh, 47 point da 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 da. And uh, where, where you, okay, interpolate. So yeah, so let's see what it does. Hopefully uh, we see like a clear difference. Let's see if it's true what you guys say. It's funny, a lot of people were like, uh, a lot of people were grilling me about this, uh, saying like, why don't you use uh, interpolation? Or like, honestly, I, I knew about flow frames. I just didn't want to bother to learn it because I was just like lazy and After Effects it was just there and I just pressed frame blending and it looked good. So um, I'm hoping to see a clear difference with this one. So let's check it out. This is it, I believe. And let's put it into After Effects. See if we got to do this, reduce this by half of the frames, right? And then this has to be double, so 8 and 16, I believe, right? Right? Okay, and then double this. Uh, did I miscalculate something? Um, how, how long is this one? 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay, let's try 8-8 eight, eight here. All right, so it seems to fit. All right, and uh, let's play this one. Moment of truth. I actually want to get close to see, see the little details, see if it's true. Oh. Doesn't look bad. Yeah, but then is it really that much different than this one? Really? Is it really that much different? Are you going to tell me it's that much different? Maybe it is. Let me check it out. I do feel like frame blend has a little bit of warping to it. I don't know if it's just me. I mean, you guys let me know if you see it, but I feel like there's just a little bit of like this weird warp warping effect that it's doing that uh, the flow frame is not doing like right there. It is doing some kind of warp, but it's not like, I don't know if it's just in my mind or, I mean, you guys let me know like what you guys see. Like to me, this looks like it just has a little bit more like, like warping to it. And then this one just seems like it's just a little bit smoother. I mean, there's, it still has a warping effect like in general, cause there's just so much going on. But I feel like, I feel like this has less of it. 
you guys tell me your thoughts to me there is a difference uh i don't know if you guys see it but it's it can be easily missed by just the average person i think but uh yeah if, if you have like a little bit of a trained eye you can see the subtle difference yeah to me they they're they're different yeah i like this one better this is the flow frame i i actually like it better yeah yeah I, I don't know if you guys see it. I, I see it, definitely. You guys are right. Sorry. Um, well, this is my way of correcting it. So you guys uh, can try this method instead of the the frame blending. Um, it's pretty easy to use. Just download it and, uh, and just run it through uh, flow frames. Yeah. Well, all right, guys. Thank you so much for the advice. Thank you for the information. It was super helpful. Uh, I know I probably did something wrong here too because like I see that the it doesn't end right on the end of the frame So I'm sure I'm gonna hear that in the comments, but uh, I appreciate uh, All the corrections as long as it's in a respectful way. Thank you guys. All right. Take care. God bless. Peace